Hello there YouTubers, I'm going to make a couple of videos here to show you where I'm at. So, this is a switch. So what I did, it was an old fuse switch, uh, as you can read here. Um, 120, 230 volts and uh, 30 amp on each side. So there was a fuse here and a fuse there, which I removed. And now the only thing left is this. So the fuse here was removed. I had two cable, one cable, one cable here. So it's going straight. The current's going straight here, but it's not going on the other side. The other side is a so that's two separate circuits. But in the end, they are, they are all going to be connected to my PWM here. So what I did, I connected them all in the back. I'm still working on having all the connection put in there because there are three connections, three connections, three connections. So I'm gonna hook it up, all of them. Uh, batteries, pole hook up here, and uh, same thing here. But uh, this one is gonna be going to my uh, on-off switch. Uh, previously I had a small on off switch, I think I still got it here, um, I only had two cables, sorry, right here, so that's what I had before, worked good, but, uh, and I had a good cable there too, cause it's not small cables as thick as my uh, pinky here, but uh, this switch is now toast, it does not go on the other side. It's completely done for it. It's nothing to do. That was supposed to be a 50 amp switch. And uh, I don't think it's something that you want to have with hydrogen. You want something tough. You want something built to last. And uh, this is what I took. So this I got that. I got a whole house and I had that there. Uh, so I just took it and modified it for DC, and uh, which is fairly simple. You have those here, in there, and uh, it was placed right here, so it was there, and the fuse was uh, on this one here. Uh, so if I was connecting here, it was not going through because the bolt was there. So that's basically that. Uh, the screw, the screw is there, and uh, that's where the current was going from here to there. So if the screw is here, there is a probably a, some copper cable or a piece of copper that's going underneath there. So basically, that's what I did. I. Uh, I tested it uh, to make sure that the current was going through with uh, my uh, my tester here. You have to place it on uh, this. If the current is going through, on the multimeter, if you put together those two, then it will show zero. If you remove it, it will show one so you don't want any resistance basically that's what it is it's testing the resistance on your line so no resistance that's good and uh, I tested it on uh, my switch to make sure that there was no resistance when it was closed obviously and uh, when it's open then uh, the resistance is one so it's not nothing is going through so basically that's where I'm at I'm gonna finish uh, doing the cable here um, still got uh, like uh, three cables to hook up here for the positive out to the cell. That's the negative out to the cell. Uh, I made some. Uh, yeah, that's negative out. That's positive out. Anyway, it doesn't really matter if you have positive or negative here. If you're cutting out the circuit, it will stop. It's fairly simple on that end. The only thing that is really important in this setup is the PWM, which will control your 
amp and uh, voltage rate going in uh, in your system. So that's what you want. Basically, that's what it is for now. And uh, as soon as I got uh, another update, I'll uh, record it and place it all in one video. All right. So everything is hooked up. All the little connection here to the PWM. I got uh, my negative connection here. Let's go on the back there. My positive uh, connection here. Right there with its connection right there. Which are going to go straight on my two batteries here. So, this is where I'm at. I need to connect that, uh, connect the rest of the wires here, all of them to myself. This is going to be done here. And I uh, will remove uh, the salt, obviously, from uh, my previous experience. Uh, didn't do much. Uh, will probably corrode my plates much more faster, so uh, this will be gone for sure. Alright. So this is where I'm at. Uh, looking pretty sharp, actually, as I don't have to uh, clean it up all the time, and that switch will definitely will hold. I'm not afraid of that. So this is where I'm at, and I'll uh, combine the videos as I said earlier. Hello there, YouTubers. So I'm uh, mostly done here. Everything is being hooked up in pairs of three as you can see here three cables in three cables out three cables in three cables out same thing for my switch here which is looking great and uh, I've put four cable to do the bridge in between to do the 24 volt there so I put four of them. Uh, also, these are nicely attached. Uh, also, three cable. So on both ends to get my 24 volt. One is going. The minus one is going here, and the plus positive is going here. And uh, they both reach the cell at one point which is good. So that's basically where I'm at right now. Um, I'll also combine the videos. I'm gonna fill up my cell with some nice water here, which is uh, distilled water always. And I'm gonna get some baking soda, of course. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get more results since this one is a 50 amp. 24 volt which will mean uh, much more watt than uh, the other one that I had before so that's basically it I'm gonna fill up my tank I got it ready right there fill it up and uh, try to see if I'm getting some more uh, liters per minute there to see if I'm getting more production all right see you there